So this is a meeting of microRNAs and non-coding RNAs in cancer. It's being organized by myself with co-organizers Lynn Hay, who's a professor from the University of California in Berkeley, and Manal Estela, who's a professor from Barcelona in uh, Spain. Some of the best, most exciting research in this area will be discussed. We've made a concerted effort to bring together for the participants a group of scientists that are at the very cutting edge of this particular field. And uh, I believe that this is going to be just an amazing meeting. It's going to build on some of the strengths that other Keystone meetings have in the past. For example, Keystone meetings on microRNAs and small RNAs and uh, microRNAs in cancer, uh, long non coding RNAs in disease, uh, and bring them together with a focus on cancer in this particular case. Of course, cancer is not... Uh, it's not the only disease in which these types of RNA mechanisms are going to be important, but it's the disease that's really at the sort of leading the way, if you will, in showing how powerful these types of molecules can be. So I think the participants are really going to be in for a treat in terms of um, the quality of the science that's going to be discussed. For this conference, we're really hoping that we're going to get a great mix of people from all stages of, of, of the scientific uh, career spectrum, uh, not only in academia but also in industry. This is an area of, of science that's, of course, very important for industry uh, to pay attention to, and we, we anticipate that some of our industries, industry uh, speakers will, uh, will attract, um, uh, will be part of the meeting and will attract other participants from that area. We're also hoping that we'll get graduate students, postdocs, uh, assistant professors, and full professors. So. Uh, we're, we're just hoping for the entire range of people interested in this area to come to the meeting. In the past, Keystone meetings have focused on either long non coding RNAs or microRNAs. Mm -hmm. uh, and in this case, this, is, this, is, this, is really, uh, a, this meeting is really a reflection of the fact that it's becoming harder and harder to work on one without being cognizant of the other. I mean, the two sets of RNAs are interacting with each other in cells, and, uh, and uh, there might be some more commonalities that, that will become uh, apparent during the meeting itself. So I would say that uh, uh, these areas are, are just exploding right now, and our understanding of how they, uh, these classes of RNAs interact with one another is making this one of the hottest areas of science right now. So in terms of therapeutic potential in this particular area, I would say it's, it's quite uh, apparent. There are a number of clinical trials that have already begun using RNA therapeutics. Certainly uh, trials trying to inhibit certain RNAs have progressed quite nicely in the clinic with very low toxicity and with good efficacy. Trials using RNAs themselves as a therapeutics are beginning, and the phase one trials have, have started and shown quite promising results in terms of lack of toxicity. So I would say this is an area that, uh, that will become uh, even, uh, will have more potential in the future. So this type of meeting is, I think, really important just to bring together some of the, uh, the key thought leaders in the field bringing them in contact with some of the younger, more ener sort of and, and energetic researchers who are really going to be the ones that will be the future of the field, uh, bringing together industry and uh, academia together to, to try and think about ways to push these or translate these basic science discoveries into new clinical directions and potential therapeutics and diagnostics. So I would say this, this is going to be important in, in all of those areas. Yeah, so I've been at a number of Keystone meetings in the past, in particular the one that I uh, remember most distinctly was the 2004 microRNAs and siRNAs meeting held at Keystone. It, uh, I think, was the first of its type in, in, in the world. It quickly uh, solidified Keystone as the place to go in this particular field. In fact, there is no real competing meeting for microRNAs and, uh, and siRNAs. I mean, Keystone is the, uh, uh, the venue to discuss these kinds of topics. At that particular meeting, uh, I, I remember giving a presentation just saying that some of our research pointed to the fact that microRNAs could regulate oncogenes. It completely uh, changed the direction of my lab because uh, some groups came up to me and told me that they had ways of... Uh, 
of sort of introducing microRNAs into into cells and really testing whether that was possible and uh, started a long-term collaboration that I've had with scientists and industry to, to really push this type of new research into the clinic. So I would say my research has been fundamentally altered by attending some of these meetings. In, uh, I've attended a number of meetings since then, and, and at every meeting I have the opportunity to start new collaborations. I mean, I think that's one of the number one reasons to attend these meetings, is just the quality of the people, the, uh, uh, the, the new science that's discussed, the, the new areas that uh, get, get exposed, and, and, uh, and bringing uh, people of diverse backgrounds and diverse um, areas into into the same room to to think about ways to make this an even stronger field